Hi, buddy, Paul. Wanted to share with you five common mistakes that we're seeing uh, estate agents and letting agents make with their Facebook pages. So when we take on a, a client, we often carry out a health check on the, the client's Facebook page just to see what sort of marketing they're doing. So before even we do any advertising, we want to make sure that what they're doing on their Facebook page is as, as good as it could be to make sure they get maximum exposure for free, but also then it's the right type of content to amplify, to put money behind it and obviously spend a, a bit of money advertising that post and, and getting maximum exposure. So we have a look at their page and often there's about five things that come up on a regular basis which agents are doing wrongly. And this can have a real big effect on the results they overall see from their, their social media, so things like Facebook and Instagram. So number one on that list, have a look and see how many posts have actually got outbound links. And what I mean by that is how many of your posts have got links which take people to your, your properties on your website or take them to blogs on your site or anywhere else. Facebook is looking at how many posts you have outbound links on, on your Facebook page. So Facebook has something called a quality score overall for your page. And one of the things it's looking at is how many people is it losing from your page? Now, if, you're, if you find that pretty much every post has got a link or every other page has got a, a post has got a link out to Facebook, then really you've got to stop that. And you know, I would suggest that, you know, if it's a blog article, you're putting most of that blog content into to the post. If it's a property, then obviously you can give people sort of a, a call to action, perhaps to comment below if, if you want full details. Um, and that will work in favour for you anyway, increasing the engagement on your post. Now you can have some links, but do make sure that, as I say, you're looking at the number of links that you have got. Now, number two is video. Now, always going on about video, you're probably getting fed up of hearing me talk about video, but the important thing here is that Facebook, again, is looking at how much video you're creating. And the reason for this is because um, Facebook loves video, but also users love video. And you only have to look at other platforms like YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn. They're all demanding video now. And it's not just those platforms. It's also users. Now, users on those uh, platforms want to see video. But also Facebook loves video because it keeps people on the platform again. It wants to keep people inside of Facebook. It doesn't want to lose people um, quickly. And it knows that if it's got lots of video on its platform, people stay on longer. They watch longer bits of video and then they see another video. And before they know it, they're on the, the platform for a very long time. To be honest, every other post would be a great place to be. If you can't do that, fine, but make sure that there's more video on there than perhaps you're doing. If 50% of your content is uh, without video, then it's probably not enough. Number three on the list is encouraging engagement on your posts. You know, this is social media, it's Facebook. It's all about engagement. It's all about people commenting, liking, sharing your content. And that is how the algorithm is pretty much built. You know, some of the most powerful things that you can get on your post to get more exposure is to get a comment like or share also there is watch time on a post so how long someone reads something and looks at it there's no doubt about it that facebook is looking at how long uh, how many people comment and how many people share your post and until that happens facebook's not really going to pay much attention how do we do that what can you do a couple of quick tips are you asking people for opinions and are you asking questions at the end of your content? I bet you're not. You're probably putting loads of great value content out there, perhaps content created by Jerry Lyons or Christopher Watkins, or perhaps you've written a great blog. Um, and then you're not asking for any sort of engagement. So people will read it, clap a hand, clap their hands and then walk away. It doesn't help you with your Facebook post. So make sure all your content you're putting on your page, you're asking people, have they experienced this? What do they think? Uh, perhaps ask people if it's a property listing and you're showing photographs, uh, what's your favorite? Is it the kitchen or the bathroom? Or if the property's got a, an amazing feature, such as a, an island in the kitchen, um, who do you know who'd love a, a kitchen like this? Just some things that encourage engagement or people to share the post or to tag people in. And until you get that, it's not gonna push that uh, post any further for free. Remember, uh, business pages come 
after personal uh, profiles or personal posts. So you've got to make sure you're doing everything to get that engagement. Number four, too much property on Facebook pages. Now, you definitely want property. There's no doubt about it. You know, it's our industry. People love property and it works well. But have a look at how you're presenting that property on your Facebook page. You know, do ask for people's opinions. Do ask people what their favorite things are. But rather than just putting, you know, new listing and front image and internal shots, perhaps uh, take photographs of really unique features that people maybe not seen before. So perhaps if it's a, a Victorian uh, property or an older style property and it's got a really unique feature, take a picture of it, share that. Maybe it's a unique front door, an old front door or porch, or maybe it's got an amazing um, garden. You know, show people those sort of things about your properties. Also make sure you're in the pictures, creating video where you're showing a, um, a quick preview of a property or a sort of selfie style image is only gonna help your own personal brand. Our business, is all about people. So every opportunity, make sure where possible you're in the photograph or video as well. Also have a think about behind the scenes. People love property programs. They love to see people viewing properties. They like seeing how properties are being taken on, what, what they're doing behind the scenes. Perhaps show that and also behind the scenes in your company. You are the main thing that separates you from your competition. Remember